Uh, hey, congratulations on this uh, project of yours. Who are you people? Thank you. So, uh, so tell us, uh, what initially attracted you to this project? Um, I, it's funny, when I got the script, um, I read it very, very quickly. Uh, I grew up with someone close to me who, who did not know that they were adopted. And um, I, I watched from a secondhand point of view, someone sort of struggle with self-identity um, and yeah, that, that was the key aspect of the script that felt familiar to me. Um, even though that, that hadn't happened to me, I felt like I had, I had watched someone else go through with it. Um, and yeah, that, that like personal struggle, struggle, figuring out who you are, whether or not it's a good idea to figure out where you come from, how helpful that is, uh, to, to building a life you want. Um, those are all questions that, that I had kind of grown up thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> so how how did you make uh, the character Alex uh, to be uh, your own? Because uh, her personality is so, how can you say, rebellious <laughs> and persistent. Yeah, she's, um, how did I make her her own? I think a lot of it was on the page. I think um, Ben wrote a character that, that spent a lot of time by themselves and uh, a lot of time maybe composing things they wanted to say in their head, in her head. Um, it was very easy. I, I felt like I knew her when I when I read the script. Um, she's very curious. She's very blunt, probably a lot more blunt than I am. Um, that was the bit that, that, was, that was a little tougher for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, was it difficult to get into the uh, emotional scenes? Um... In, in a film like this, I mean, it's it's a lot a lot more dramatic than a lot of the things that I've seen you in before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more of a family drama. I, I haven't really done one of those. Um, no, surprisingly, no. Uh, again, like I said, I, I think um, I had more of a, an, a very specific emotional connection to the script, and so it, it wasn't as difficult. Um, also, I think the key to <laughs> producing emotion sometimes is, is just the, the support of a crew and, and the actors you're working with. It can be very difficult sometimes if, if that atmosphere isn't, um, isn't very warm maybe to, to summon that. And uh, that was very easy on this job. So, uh, so basically you're saying uh, <laughs> acting against like Devin, for example, was, yeah. uh, was, was pretty easy because of his, his experience. He's an incredibly giving actor. Um, as as is Yardley and as is Alyssa, um, it was very very easy to connect with all three of them. Especially being like you know one of the younger actors on set and and mainly having to act with adults, um, there, I, I, it felt very safe. Um, so tell me yeah. what's it, um, how do you approach acting with more experienced veteran actors like the like like it's this cast? It's my favorite. It's my favorite because you feel like you're with good hand, you're in good hands, and that the, those people have you. Um, yeah, Alyssa and and Devin have been working since they were kids, uh, and it, I I feel like it shows. Um, uh, yeah, and they both they both have kids themselves, and since I was playing, you know, their child, uh, I think th that sort of nurturing mentality came came very easy for them. It's it's funny. It's because uh, you're you're playing a very young teen, yeah. in, uh, in, in in this film, and uh, just you know, just to clarify, you're 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 not a young teen. No, <laughs> <laughs> nearing thirty. <laughs> how 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 do you when you when you get a script like that where it requires you to play a whole lot younger? Do you change um, your your tactic on on acting, or or do you feel grateful that uh, they they cast you a whole lot younger? <laughs> it's a combination of both, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely grateful. I think I think this is the last one where I can afford to do something like that. I think people w won't believe it very soon. Um, 
Yeah, it's funny because we, we shot it right before the pandemic hit. And that feels, I mean, I, I, three years ago, a lot has happened and my life has changed a lot and I feel like I've grown up a lot. And so in, in, in when I watch the film, I feel like I am watching a child um, just in comparison to, to the person I am now. It, it feels like I'm watching a much, much, much younger person. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't as hard as you, as you think it would be. Um, yeah, maybe it's uh, I, I might have a bit of a Peter Pan complex. It's taken me a while to grow up at 29. Maybe it's finally, finally happening. <laughs> now, now we, we know you, you, uh, you, you've moved on to uh, much larger projects, but what, what is the love of like independent projects like this, where, um, you know, this, this is where you came from. I, I, I still remember you from, uh, from a film. I'm trying to remember what lies beneath, you know, yeah. like, those are like independent, uh, you know, I don't want to say I, large budget projects like Lord of the Rings, for example. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I love them. Um, I, I like getting into the mentality of, oh, I'm going to be working every single day for four weeks and I, I will be using my mind and my body every day for four weeks. That's, that's very, I got used to that process, you know, on, on rings, it's very different. You know, we have a lot of time to luxuriate. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I really like the feeling of pressure. Um, so, yeah. I'm used to that now, so 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 I I would take that schedule um, over a luxurious one any day. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you what do you think about the themes that uh, is portrayed in Who Are You People? Because you know, um, Carl Carl, it, there's like a discovery of Carl. What what uh, you know, alcoholism and and something else that I don't want to reveal or or your your parents and so on. I mean, what 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 do you like about the themes that's portrayed in this family drama? Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest one for me was how much of where you come from is helpful to know. Um, I think that's a question that I've struggled with my whole life. Um, you know, I, my parents are immigrants. They came here when they were 25. Uh, to the U.S. when they were 25, and um, you know, I, I grew up knowing my extended family, and um, you know, as I'm getting older and and also preparing to have children of my own, th those are big questions that that you know, there there've been times in my life where I thought, no, it's 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 not good to know that, and there have been other times where I'm where I've been desperate to know, and times where I felt like I knew too much. Um, uh, yeah, and and questions of 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 how much of your life are you able to create on your own, and how much are you just destined to because of because of the people you come from? Um, yeah, I don't I don't have an answer to those questions, um, and I don't think the film does either. Uh, but they're they're very interesting to think about, and certainly um, pertinent to me. <laughs> you know. I, I don't suppose you you question uh, your parents sometimes on who who are you people, but uh, hopefully all the, time. <laughs> all the time. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. Well, most excellent. Well, let let, let me uh, start wrapping things up with you, uh, Emma. Um, what's what's up next with you? Can can you say? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm in Windsor right now working on season two of Lord of the Rings, and um, I'm very happy to be back. I'm very excited to be back. Um, yeah, As, I, the pace is faster this season. It's a little darker. Um, I'm so happy to see my friends again and, and go to work with them. So, yeah, I, I couldn't be happier to be starting the year here. I'm 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 curious when when you get into something like Lord of the Rings it's itself you know such a such a grand uh, project do you do you do you enter into a new fandom and it's like a new I I don't want to say celebrity status but but is it overwhelming sometimes it, it certainly has been um <laughs> It, both my parents are like academic people and I, I think Lord of the Rings has the most kind of pedantic academic fandom there is. Um, and so, so there's a lot of it that is very appealing to me and I've, I've really enjoyed um, 
is spending time talking to a lot of the hardcore fans and people who have read you know the Silmarillion like 10 times that that's that's really interesting to me and and um reading theories online and and um contradictions in the lore and ha and, and arguments that's 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 so delightful to me um of course like being in something that is also so precious to so many people is, has been very challenging sometimes um but on, on the whole has has brought me new friends and uh and also like allowed me to exercise my brain uh, in ways that I that I that I hadn't been able to on other projects, I guess. Well, it's excellent. And let, let me wrap it up with uh, one last question. We'll go back to this this project. Who are you, people? Yeah. What uh, if you are an audience member? What kind of ending that you are hopeful for for Alex? Oh man, uh, hopeful for. I mean, I don't. I I, I want to let the audience like decide where her life goes. Um, I just wish, for her, I wish a life where she's comfortable in her own skin. I think this film is is a, an hour and a half of someone who's very uncomfortable in their skin. And uh, so that peace and, and tranquility, I wish, I wish for her. <laughs> Most excellent. Well, hey, congratulations. And thank you uh, for speaking to us about uh, who are, who are you people? Um, my my Elvish is not very good, so I can't really speak to you in in that language. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Bye.